I want to thank uh, uh, all these Cougs who uh, came out to the game uh, after that great football win yesterday. I'm sure that to get back up this morning and get out here, I really appreciate that because we needed uh, their energy. Uh, in terms of the game, I, I thought Santa Clara played uh, extremely well, extremely smart in the game. Uh, I thought our defensive slippages uh, throughout the game uh, really hurt us. And I, I think the, this week when we, all of us in the conference hits the reset button, that'll be the focal point for us as well as getting back healthy. Uh, you never want to make excuses, and I never will, because we've had some injuries along the way, and, and particularly in our losses, but there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, the play of Marvin Cannon was tremendous. He's continued to grow. Uh, Devontae Cooper, somebody we're going to need. We need that size. I thought he was exceptional in the game as well. Hopefully he'll keep growing on that. And then obviously to get every – Beyonce played well for a guy to set out, you know, the last two weeks and everything. So there were some bright spots in the game for us. But we need to get healthy again and, and get back into rhythm. And the best way to do that is to get back to practice. Defensively, what, what went wrong for you guys? Because there were stretches where you played well and yet they would go back to that triple penetration and, and kick it inside and have some easy looks. Where was it breaking down for you? You know, a lot of what we try to do in the preseason is play a lot of bodies and, and play them so they get comfortable at this level with so many new guys. They have to get comfortable with the system, the defense, the rotations. With doing that, you make a lot of mistakes because you have a lot of new guys. And conference time has come. We just talked about this. We may need to shorten down the rotations and get guys that understand it a lot better because the penetration against the man, the penetration against the zone, uh, there were times where we were really good and we shut them down. And there were times where we looked really good at four of the positions. And the last position would break down and it would cost us a bucket, sometimes a layup, sometimes a wide open three. Uh, that's the newness of this team that we have to just live with until they understand the intensity level you have to play with and the intelligence level you have to play with possession by possession. Santa Clara was great at shortening down the game and making it a possession by possession game. Uh, and I thought what they basically did is we're going to make your guys think for the entire possession. And when those new guys have any slippage, we're going to make them pay for it. We did an excellent job of that. Uh, in that second half, your guys never gave up. How encouraging is that, that they never gave up and they stuck together, they kept together as a team. You know, it, it's real important. Uh, we've always played hard. Uh, unfortunately, we've lost, uh, if you look at our losses, they're all close games and I've been blown out yet. And again, not making any excuses, we need to get all those veteran guys healthy and playing at the same time. But I'm proud of the way they battled. They, they battled extremely hard, but the, the battle for me is the possession by possession minute by minute battle through a 40 minute game that you have to understand and that's where teams that have been two and three year players they don't break down they don't they're four year players they don't have that slippage because they know and we had a lot of breakdowns on the floor but i am proud of the way they played they played hard right through the end but uh, the mental part of the game got away from us can you update us with the frank's injury was it precautious today or is it something you expected last maybe the end of the first week or two of the season? I, I i don't know i would say he is he is day to day uh, we just felt like with the soreness that was there, he felt like, we felt like, uh, that we are going to keep him out of this game. Looking at your non-conference schedule as a whole, what can you guys take from that and carry it with you into conference play? We're undefeated at home, and I think that's very important to protect your home court. Uh, I think the fact when we look at um, the growth of Marvin Cannon from the first game to now is just Tremendous. The, gro the growth of C.J. Ellaby from the first game to now is tremendous. Uh, the point guard situation needs to get decided. Uh, Ahmed Ali has wanted to come off the bench. He needs to be on the floor at the start of the game. So I look at those things. Cooper's development is really good right now. So the individual development and growth of some of these players has been really good considering uh, they've just been introduced to basketball at this level. The key thing will be uh, hit that reset button this week and get ready for basketball at a, another level now. Rival game, packed 12 play, packed house. It's coming. The games are coming. The pressure's coming. We've got to be able to handle that. With the holiday and everything this week, can you kind of tell me how, to, how you mapped out this week? Practices. You know, we were in, uh, when we finished uh, against New Mexico State, that was our fourth game in seven days. And we left right after the game, early morning, got them up at 3.30, and they went home for Christmas. Some of those guys going to Virginia and, and, and in, the, in uh, Minnesota, and they were there for really a day and a half. They were there 24th, 25th, and they got up the morning again, middle of the night on the 26th to travel back to play this game on the 29th. And now we're on the road at Washington, on the road at Colorado, on the road at Utah. So it's a, it's a tough stretch for these new guys. 
So we need to give them a couple of days off. That's the first thing we're going to do and let their legs come back a little bit. Let them take a deep breath, just from the holiday travel, all the basketball they played, and then get back to work this week, probably around Tuesday or so. Pickup is a byproduct of not having Franks on the floor. The 24 points that he gives you every game, so that's big. You can stretch the floor so much more, which opens up the lanes to drive and those type of things. I thought they did a good job of clamping down on shooters, so when you can't stretch that floor. Uh, Carter's a guy who needs to get points in transition. It's hard for him to get points one-on-one. -on -one. When you can get up and down and stretch the floor a little bit, that can happen. I thought the fact that we gave him so many easy buckets, it kept us out of transition, so he didn't get a chance to run to give a Carter or Beyonce Daniels to give them their looks. So some of that stuff affected us, all of it stemming from what went on at the defensive end of the floor and then obviously not having Robo on the floor.